Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you taking the time to stop by. In this video, I'm going to give you my top wedding tips on how to increase your earnings and maximize your income. Hi, I'm JP, and as I've said, this video, I'm gonna give you my tips on how I increase my revenue. Think about how you do it. You've got to approach it in a certain way. No point just firing off prices left, right, and center as inquiries come in. What you have to do is think about how you handle your inquiries. If you wanna land the bigger weddings, you need to show that you are a professional from the absolute start. Uh, and this includes your initial proposal. Ideally, you should email a proposal to them. Um, this would uh, have a covering letter, probably followed by the services you're offering, options you might want uh, them to upgrade with, and then finally, and last of all, the price. Um, price should be absolutely the last thing you talk about with any bride and groom. Um, you've got a bit, they're gonna be looking for an amazing wedding. And if they're looking for an amazing wedding, then they're gonna be more interested in the detail and the products and the services you can offer um, before the price. Don't just offer the standard DJ services. Offer and sell upgrades. Um, make yourself a bigger DJ offering bigger packages um, for bigger events. So for instance, wedding ceremonies. Um, would they like you to supply the wedding ceremony music? Not everybody wants to walk into their wedding with the music coming some shitty USB speaker in the corner uh, that Uncle Brian's pressing, or worse still, um, they've had to burn a CD uh, and putting it on the venue CD player in the corner. Um, and again, somebody's there pressing the buttons. Um, offer the services of a professional music provider um, so that them and their guests can appreciate a nice, all-encompassing background sound that they can feel the vibe from. Offering that will allow you to add on value, and when you can add on value, you can add on price. Venue arrival drinks or after ceremony drinks reception. This is a classic part of the wedding where you can offer services that often uh, the bride and groom will be open to suggestion uh, for some nice cool background music for their guests while they're off having their photos done. Um, and from a DJ's perspective, it's really easy to deliver. Laptop, mixer, maybe one, two speakers. You don't need to set up your DJ booth. Just ask the venue for a table with a tablecloth, put it in the corner uh, and off you go. During the summer, I'm often found, found I and mean, you can see this in previous gig logs, where I'm doing this outside for clients. Um, I've got my RX2, I've got one DXR12 speaker, and, uh, and I'm doing an outside DJ set, and it comes across really cool. The amount of guests that come over to me at that point and talk with me, and they then start asking me, do, do, you know, am I available for their wedding? Am I, you know, do I do the other types of events? It's great. Not only is it an add-on, uh, it's something that you can actually bring um, as, a, as a sales tool. Wedding breakfast DJ services, another great upgrade. Bride and grooms love quality background music through the wedding breakfast. I've been asked before now to DJ live as well as simply stick a playlist on that's been provided. This part also gives the opportunity to do the room introductions um, and provide wireless microphones for the speeches. All of these are valid upgrades, quality upgrades. But again, remember, you won't need to necessarily set up your DJ booth. Discretion is key. Provide the services from the side and uh, let the day go on and you're just in the background making it cool. Evening wedding DJ. 
So now we've reached the part that they contacted you about, but this part I suggest offering a choice of setups also. Um, you can upgrade to the level that the bride and groom want to be at and you as the wedding DJ want them to be at. For instance, I have three levels of setup um, for my weddings. One, uh, a compact setup which incorporates um, a small booth, a couple of lights, um, two speakers, no sub, okay, and that, that's it. Uh, two, uh, a main wedding setup that looks absolutely the part has lights such as moving heads, room mood lighting, speakers, subs, DJ booth that you expect to see at a wedding. Um, and that's the one that I want them to be at. That's the one I want them to book. Uh, and then number three, um, add on and take the price up. Take it up to where you, d you, know, you don't expect them to go to. Um, so you'd uh, add on additional uh, options such as sparkler effects, confetti cannons, big screen TVs. Um, so it takes it right up. Some people will buy that, but obviously the extra time and infrastructure it takes you to put them out, they don't get used as often, so they've still got to be paid for. Um, so uh, you've got to put the price up there to, uh, to counter that. But from experience, what happens is when you've got three options, they pick the middle one. So um, price accordingly. So what do I charge? Well, that's for a forthcoming video that I am definitely making. So don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, turn on that bell. But just to say, 2019, last year, I was booked for three to four weddings throughout the year, with the exception of January and um, part of February and uh, December because I do a Christmas season, there, and 10 days in August because I popped off on holiday. The rest of the time I was doing three to four weddings every week. Now you can go back through my gig logs, you'll be able to see that. But what I do say is what I've done for you is I've put a playlist of three weddings together and uh, I put that uh, in a link um, up there, but also um, at the end and in the description. So uh, if you want to see exactly how I deliver all day weddings, and you'll be able to see the options that I've spoken about uh, and how I've done them. If you're a budding DJ or if you're a new DJ and you want to increase your earnings, you want to move into that wedding market, you want to capture that higher end client, then I suggest you watch those three videos that are coming up now. Thanks for watching.